Here we're being asked if three points P, Q, and R are collinear, which basically means do these three points line up in a straight line? Now this can be kind of hard to tell in space because we don't really have depth perception with a drawing on a sheet of paper. You know, even if three points look like they're in a line, let's say like here, here, and here, those look like they're in a straight line, but possibly if we jumped into the picture and looked at it from another angle, it might actually be not in a straight line. It might be zigzag because maybe the middle point is closer to us than the other two are. And so um, it, is, it can be very difficult just to look at this graphically and tell if three points are collinear. So how, how do we do this? Well, let me, let me show you. If you have points P, Q, and R, and I just kind of arbitrarily put these dots down. I'm not saying that's really where these three points are. What we can do is we can create two vectors. We can build two vectors. We can build a vector P, Q, and we can build a vector PR. And this isn't the only way to do it, but just for our sake, we'll say PQ and PR, but you could build QR or, you know, some other vectors as well. But think about it. If these guys really are in a straight line, then the vector PQ and the vector PR would have to be going in the same direction. And in fact, if they are going in the same direction, the only thing that would be different would be their magnitude. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to find PQ we're going to find PR and then we're going to see is one of these guys a scalar multiple of the other vector and if it is then these guys must be collinear they must be going along the same line here if PQ and PR are actually different vectors more than just differ by a scalar but are actually going in a different direction PQ versus PR then the three points must not be in a straight line so let's build PQ and PR uh, you probably remember from an earlier video that to build two vectors you would just do terminal minus initial for the um, ith component, jth component, and the kth component for these vectors. So here for PQ we'll take 0 minus negative 3, subtract the x values for these two points. That would give you positive 3. Um, negative 5 minus 0 is negative 5 and 8 minus 1 makes 7. So this would be a vector that points in the direction from P to Q. Um, now, what about the vector P to R? So from P to R, terminal minus initial. Six minus negative three makes nine. Negative 15 minus zero makes negative 15. And 22 minus one makes 21. So now look at these two guys, we have PQ which is the vector 3, negative 5, 7. And we have PR, which is the vector 9, negative 15, 21. Look at these two vectors. Granted, they're not the exact same vector, but are they going in the same direction? Yes, they are. How do I know that? It looks to me like PR is simply three times the vector PQ. It's a scalar multiple of PQ. PR is in the same direction, it's just longer. So since PR is three times the vector PQ, then yes, these guys must be collinear. If we had gotten, let's say, a vector like 9, negative 15, 28 or something, well then PR would not have been a scalar multiple of PQ and the point three points would not have been collinear. But here since it was a scalar multiple, yes, these three points do lie in a straight line in space.